we have talked about the Euler characteristic for shapes in the plane. Now we're going to lift the ideas one dimension. Now we're going to the space. We're going to talk uh, about three dimensions. First, let's run Euler's formula to our platonic solids and see what we obtain. For the tetrahedron, here we see we have four vertices, six edges, and four faces. And when we run the Euler formula, we get two. When we do it for the cube, eight minus 12 plus six, we also get two. Take a look at the other platonic solids. And if we count carefully, we see that the Euler characteristic for all these is equal to two. Again, here we are after something good. So we wonder, what about the Archimedean solids? What about any other polyhedron? You can convince yourselves if you compute the Euler characteristic for any Archimedean solid, we're going to get that indeed is equal to two. And mathematicians proved the following result that for any three-dimensional polyhedron, the Euler formula, the Euler characteristic, is equal to two. Now, in the sense of topology where we allow flexibility, we see that all these shapes can be transformed smoothly one into the other. We have computed already the Euler characteristic of the tetrahedron to be two, of the cube to be two, Therefore, the Euler characteristic of the cylinder will be two, and the Euler characteristic of the sphere is two. Remember, we found that the Euler characteristic of a disk in the plane was equal to one. Now we have found that the Euler characteristic of a sphere in the space is two. In the next video, we are going to give a couple of examples exploring more this idea and what your next task will be.